Hello. So, it's time for another Top 5 Friday. So in this video, I actually did a poll on my Insta and I had two different options for this month's Top 5 Friday, which is thrillers and healthy snacks. And thrillers one. So we will be discussing my Top 5 thrillers that I read in 2021. So in no particular order, please bear in mind, we're gonna go with The Push by Ashley Audrain. So in this story, it's basically about a mother. Um, she has a baby and she doesn't feel like a particular connection and it kind of goes back into like her family history and why she is the way that she is. And yeah. The Marriage is a Disaster is messy. It's a spicy book, okay? A lot of things go down, and you're like, want to strangle. You're probably gonna want to strangle the father many, many times in the story, but it's good. It's about a child and a mother's relationship, and I can't spoil anymore because, once again, these are thrillers, and you would just have to pick and choose and see if it's your kind of cup of tea <laughs> okay so on to the second one bring me back by ba paris so this one was really cool um because it's basically about this woman and this man they are together they're in a whole relationship gives me kind of creep vibes but it is what it is but it was such a good read it was definitely a page turner and she disappears and he's at fault and this feels like a Netflix movie but or a lifetime even at that um definitely gives you lifetime Netflix vibes so she disappears and he ends up getting accused of her murder and he ends up being engaged to her sister and there's a lot of plot twists so be prepared because that book has so many twists and turns and I was just like I couldn't believe it like this is one of those books that you can't predict like you couldn't predict what was gonna happen like you were just sitting there at the edge of your seat wondering is this really about to go down and yes it did go down the way it did and it definitely was one of my top thrillers this year next is friend like these by Sarah Alderson this is a book recommended to me by Jess Kate over on Instagram and she was like oh my god girl you have to read this book and I was like sis okay and I bought it on Kindle I think it was like $2.99 or something like that definitely wasn't expensive so I gave it five stars and I said it was gripping and insane, loved it a lot, haven't read a thriller that was so wild like this in a long time, highly recommends. So in the Goodreads synopsis it says, we all know someone like Becca, she has a job everyone wants, a designer wardrobe, a hotshot lawyer boyfriend, holidays to exotic locations, and she found her perfect life all over social media. It drove her colleague Lizzie mad, but she couldn't stop looking. They were never really friends, and yet Lizzie knew everything about her, or did she? When chance and a terrible mistake pulls Lizzie back into Becca's orbit years after they lost touch, she'll realize that she can't always believe what you see online and that finding out the truth might be the worst thing you can do. There's no such thing as a perfect life, only a perfect lie. Ooh, listen, I really thought Lizzie had it together, like, you know, she 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 came off a little bit unhinged, but you know, everyone's a little unhinged nowadays. It's okay, it's okay. But I was like, how it all aligns? Like, you just would be floored because who you think is the suspect is not the suspect, and it's just it's just it's just one of those thrillers that was mind boggling. I was like. This can't be real life. Oh my God, sis, what are you doing? Like, it was one of those. So, 
definitely recommends. Next is a like who done it kind of clue mystery thriller. It's called The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This is one that everyone talks on booktube and I actually got it through book of the month um, a long time ago. Listen, we're not going to talk about my book of month collection. But in this book, basically there's a wedding and everyone gets invited to this island and you know it's stormy and it's it has like stormy mysterious vibes and there's so many things happening all at once but what i liked about it is the simple fact that it shows everyone's perspective from the the guest list so yes i can't tell you more because once again it's a thriller but if you like you know who done it thrillers with like a clue vibes and you don't know what's going on and who's doing what at what particular time and everything just comes together so good definitely pick that up next is the sanatorium by sarah pierce this book was a reese book club book and i was like i'm gonna pick it up and i actually read it like as soon as I got it, it was one of those, you know, books that I, I just was so drawn to. Usually when I buy books, they just stay on my TBR shelf for a long, long time. But this is one of the books that I actually bought and I was like, I want to read this. This sounds super interesting. So, it's basically a detective. She goes away um, to deal with her brother's wedding out in this place a set this it was a mental hospital it was like a hospital it turned into a hotel and many things are happening but she's like on leave from her job so she's pretending she's not on leave and she's trying to solve all, all the things that are happening and it's it's interesting very very interesting um the whole time I thought it was a certain person that was doing everything, but it was not. And yeah, this is a the start of a series that Sarah Pierce is going to be doing. So bear that in mind when you read it. That is, it is going to be like one of a detective series. So yeah, that's my top five thrillers. I'm sorry, I try to be as vague as possible, but also like try to tell you some good juicy key points of the books because these books are simply amazing in my honest opinion. And but everyone has different opinions, and that's why you watch my channel because you appreciate my opinions. So yeah, that's it. Let me know which you know which book I mentioned here in the comments down below which one do you are willing to pick up and yeah that's it for this video don't forget to hit like subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side peace